Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I am a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on July 12, 2022 at approximately 6.22 a.m. PST. Things are progressing really nicely. We actually, yesterday, um, <clears throat> well, we'll try that again. By the way, this is a live recording. Meaning all the hiccups, burps, clearing throats, that sort of thing. If you hear them, frankly, that's the way we are. When I'm done, I simply go back and double check the, the date and time and then post it as is. Now, like I've, like I've mentioned before, it's really important in order to get your life running in the right direction, Make sure is certain that you're focusing on the goal you've got. Now, in my case, the big primary, the big goal for me personally is the Elder Bakian Chronicles. And we've just started final edit on the on the next book. We are still hoping to be done in the speed that it's going. It may well work. Uh, we're still aiming to be done before the end of this year and have it in print. Okay. So that's still relatively on track. But we with just starting final edit yesterday, we we went through the first chapter. It's finished, it's ready to go. And we already know that the next the next one is that the next book has already got the cover art done for it. But when it comes to getting your wor your physical world organized, I do have to figure out what that is. It's absolutely imperative that you keep that you start off your wherever you work on your finances. That is, you know, the finances are clearly where you have to focus to make sure everything is running smoothly. Okay, now. That and because the, the finances, wherever that is, in your, essentially your office, in your in your primary working space. If you don't have a primary primary working space for your uh, for your finances in your house, you really have to look at it. And make sure you do if you desire to get your life back on track. Now, I'm not technically a financial advisor in as much as I've never been trained. Okay, I learned mine the, the hard way, which me and which simply boils down to the tools that I offer are the same ones that I personally put to use. Okay. Sometime today I am looking at getting a at getting a website set started and moving. Okay. Because it's gotta be done. Now a lot of the problem for me is I'm a professional procrastinator. Okay, it doesn't work well. But what does work is when you get your mind set on something, and that's where the, and I didn't get it out, but let's see if I've got one handy. Ah, uh, okay, that's hooped. We can work with that. Just needed a sheet of paper to make sure I've got the right, now. oh, I've already got it set up from yesterday. Now, this is the thing, and I've mentioned this before. Okay, this list that I talk about. I strive to keep one handy so that when I get up in the morning, it's ready to go. Okay, so I actually have a, a plan of attack to, to gain my projects done first thing in the morning, so I know exactly where I'm standing. Okay, so with that in mind, I've already got things organized here. Okay, the list works really well. If you ever, and it works as a, as a coping mechanism, if you've got ADD or ADHD, okay, or if you're just a professional procrastinator like I was, then the list works really well, but you start with three. Technically, you start with one, but get three, three chores, three tasks that you're not content with written on a sheet of paper. Keep them 15, keep the tasks 15 minutes to half an hour in length. That way you can check them off. They're, they're short enough, you can get something done, check them off, and feel like you've got things accomplished. Now, at 15 minutes to half an hour, one of my best days I ended up getting, I think, 19 or 20 different projects done. 
Okay, and without feeling stressed about it. Okay, and that's the real key. Okay, where, and, oh, I mentioned this. This is that other neat little key for finances. Like I mentioned, okay, this is now done. I mentioned this yesterday, that I had to get this sheet done. So, while I was doing some other stuff, while I was actually doing, doing some editing, not editing, I was doing the online horoscopes. While I was doing them, and this is what I mean by multitasking, right? I managed to get this little sheet written out. And then the 3800 is simply a goal above what I require to, to generate in order to run my to run my household. Okay. You start with the number that you require. That means, in case you're just joining me for the first time, the what you've got to have in order is a list of all of your bills, you know, all your living expenses, rent or mortgage, your call. Okay, because ultimately they're the same thing. Your utilities, one credit card or line of credit if you have it. Okay, your insurance, your your insurance, your food, a little bit for entertainment, and some for, and some for savings. Figure that out first, because that's the that's the number that you've got to be bringing in to run your house comfortably. Now, if you're not making that much, there are a number of things that you can do. But I'm I'm targeting right now. That particular statement is for people that have enough money coming in that you can at least cover that. Now, do understand that I was going out to a restaurant every... Yeah, you know, I'd be going out to a restaurant because I hate cooking. Usually, you know, usually most days that the restaurant was open. Probably four or five days a week. Because one day, the Sunday, I just couldn't go, right? Because I won't go in the afternoon. I don't like the crowds. This is what I mean by game, by becoming rather on the reclusive side. But because I've added some expenses to my list, I was playing around with it. And the website that I'm looking at is going to, going, I could really push it and cut my cost over the next two years. But the reality is it's more comfortable comfortable for me not to push it and just pay the slightly more more the slightly more money that was really poor english okay but i am having I'm in the process of getting a website built and improving the marketing because i'll tell you marketing is my low point that's my weak point i know this for an absolute certainty and the one thing i have heard from some pretty pretty intelligent business people pretty financially successful Okay, and that's this. Number one, your best CEO, your best business owner does not know how to do everything. They know how to find the people that know how to do everything. They know how to identify them. Okay, like for instance, I happen to have a phenomenal artist working on the, on the, working on the Elder Bocking Chronicles. Okay, he does exactly what I desire. And I'll tell you, I, I when I was talking to the to the marketing person yesterday, okay, their comment was absolutely priceless, right? And I looked at the end because the guy goes, "Where, pray tell, did you find this artist?" Right? He says the picture looks like it's coming off the screen, off the screen at me, you know, off the page at me. I looked at him and I went, "Well," I said, "I found him in England." Right, because the guy is phenomenal. Well, in my opinion, and realistically, my books, my opinion, kind of an important match. Right, but the trick is to find the people that are going to make your job, are going to do the jobs that you are not capable of. Okay, this is why it is imperative that you understand. You've got to understand everything you're working on, certainly, so you can discuss what you're doing and know what's possible. Okay. I do not have to be able to draw. I've got to be able to describe. Okay. As is, as was proven beyond a shadow of a doubt where it comes to the, where it comes to where it all began, which is the next book in the series I'm already working on, 
As a matter of fact, if I take a look at it, that is what I'm looking for. Um, where are we here? Oh, that's what I want. There. If we look at that, book one, yeah, see the book we're in book, the one we're working on right now, we are about, we've got 208 pages written. The next book, we've already got 163 written. Okay, now understand, when I'm writing these books, I'm looking at an average 400 pages. Okay, I may end up with extra addendums. The nice part about it, and this is why I say everything is connected. When you get to a writing project going, and this is one I'm very familiar with in case you hadn't noticed. Okay, you get a project that is something that's very important to you. Okay, break it down into smaller tasks so that you can get it done. So it feels like you're getting things done. Now, if you don't know how to do something, absolutely find somebody that does and talk to them about it. Okay. Now, it was funny, I got asked by somebody the other day, why, you know, they, they asked, you know, they asked how I was doing, I said, oh, very busy, which really, when you think about it, I'm in the middle of writing 31 books at the same time. I'm targeting, I've already got one book, it'll be coming out sometime this week. Should be getting a call any day now, quite frankly. Um... It'll be coming out. I'm aiming for Return to Paradise coming out at the end of the year. As well as the next the next um the reprint of the of the races of the worlds. These are all, intriguingly enough, just about all of them are interconnected. I haven't quite figured out how to pull all the books together, but that's okay. I'm I'm working on that. It's kind of a different way of looking at it. But I've got five different genres I work in. Now, the nice part about it, what you've got to do, and I really should stay focused on that. Hopefully, you've already got your 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 primary finance space worked out. Okay, where you know exactly where you're working on your finances. Okay, keep that all in one place. From a feng shui standpoint, from an energy flow standpoint, if everything is clear around you, Okay, the energy will work a lot, a lot more effectively. You'll get a lot more accomplished. Now, of course, I've got a very simple routine that I strongly recommend you use. Okay, I mean, I recommend it so strongly that I actually put it in, my, in the first book that I, in the first little booklet that I wrote, Believe in Yourself and Follow Your Dreams. As soon as you wake up in the morning, Okay, as soon as you wait long enough for your eyes to focus, you can get out of bed. Now, for those of you that are blind, make sure that you that you wait until your ears focus enough or your sense of feeling. I made the mistake of getting out of bed too fast. Couldn't function at all. Kind of feels like you're drunk. Walk right smack into the wall and then you're in trouble. You know... But you get out of bed as soon as you as soon as you you can focus enough to do so. Do what you have to do in the washroom. Come back, get yourself or get yourself dressed, and make that bed. And I'll tell you why I say make that bed. Okay, the biggest obstacle you will ever run into in life is your own stubborn disposition, your own tendency to procrastinate. And I don't know when I was growing up, making a bed was always a pain in the neck. I don't feel like it. I got out of bed. I want to be on the go. But there is nothing like walking back into the room when you're ready to go to bed and not having to sort it out. You're already tired. Okay, so by putting that bed together first, you've already overcome the biggest obstacle in, the, in your life. Okay, your own stubborn disposition, your own will. Okay, you force yourself out of bed to get up and mobile. You've already made your first success for the day. Kind of an important thing in my eyes. Okay, you get the bed made, and you've already managed to over. You've already managed to get one annoying little task dealt with. Okay, then you get on with your day. Now, the nice part about it, you know, is as you as you are making more and more headway. This will become a standard routine. Okay, like I get up in the morning, 
and I do like I get I get up in the morning and before I go to the shower, which really when you think about it is not a bad idea. Um, you know, I get up in the morning as soon as I'm as soon as my eyes focus, I get my exercise, I get up, go to the washroom, get my exercises done. Now do understand I'm not an exercise freak, I'm lazy. My exercise routine runs about I think about seven minutes right now, if that. When I start weight training, I and that's going to be done at home. I'm not going to a gym. I just don't have the drive and or ambition for it. But when I go into weight training, I'm probably going to up my my exercise to about ten minutes a day, not this hour, hour and a half, two hours. Okay, I've gone from two forty six. I checked this morning. I like I mentioned, I've gone up a little. Okay, but I turned around, checked this morning, and I was down, I'd gone back up to 208. I'm now only four days later. Okay, and this just absolutely knocked me for a loop. I hit 208 and went, uh-uh, can't go there anymore. Gotta bring it back down. Here I am four days later, I'm down at 2044. 204, no, 2048, my apologies. But that means in four days I've dropped three pounds, which is a whole lot of weight that I'm not used to dropping. Usually I cut it down, I get a pound and a half to two pounds and to two pounds a week. Dropping three pounds in, in four days is just remarkable. And it happened quite by accident. But for for those of you that are aiming at dropping weight, okay. I talked to somebody the other day, they were at a point where they really required help, and sometimes medical intervention is required. Okay, you get to a point where he's just not making any headway, and to get that boost, it's very much like when, you, when you're in debt. There comes a point where, um, where um, I was going to say amalgamating, but I don't know if that's the right word, combining your debts under one debt load. Doesn't do a lot, but it can financially make it feel a whole lot better, because, or not financially, psychologically. Because I will tell you, if there is a very big difference on a, it's much, it's a much better feeling to have only one debt that you're paying as compared to, and one big debt as compared to 15 little ones. Okay, this is a very critical point. And you'll find if you've ever been in debt, and like most of you probably are in debt, okay, this is something you undoubtedly know. So you get your you get your your stuff working in the right place. In case you hadn't noticed, my mouth is not working well today. Don't know entirely why. Don't care entirely why. Okay, I just have to deal with it. But when you've got the thing, got a goal in mind, whether it's dropping your weight, and it absolutely, when it comes to dropping weight, most of you are thinking, I've got to lose weight. Well, the problem with that philosophy is this. Whenever you lose something, it seems almost instinctive for people to go looking for it. Lord knows I go looking for it when I lose my coffee cup. Problem with weight is if you lose weight, you're going to, you tend to go looking for it instinctively. And weight itself seems to come back with company. Now, if only that would happen with my wallet. You know, I lose my wallet, you know, I lose the money. If only when I found it again, it would come back with more money. That ain't quite the way that works, but it would be nice. Now, where it comes to, you know, where it comes to dropping weight, to getting a room organized, you're the one that's going to have to do the work. Okay, now you can't see it at this point because, well, my camera doesn't point that way. Probably a good idea. I've been going through a lot of junk. Okay, I used to be a professional pack rat. Now I just don't have to. You know, I used to have to work at, at collecting stuff. Now it just comes naturally. No, wait a minute. That's supposed to be. I used to be a procrastinator. Now I don't even make the effort to try in the first place. <clears throat> But it's absolutely, the, the whole trick to being successful for you is you're the only one that's got to think, that's got to feel you're successful. 
But when you look around your house, I will tell you, if you've got a lot of clutter, whether you think that's successful or not, okay, that clutter will slow down your thinking. It slows down the energy flow in your house. Net result, you're going to feel more lethargic. And this, when I say you're going to, you may be the exception. Okay, there's always an exception to a rule. Okay, you take a look at the, you take a look at the old, there was an old sitcom on, sitcom on, called WKRP in Cincinnati. Okay, now, the normal routine when somebody gets drunk, is they are supposed to, you know, they get more, they get slower reactions, slower thinking, this sort of thing. In WKRP, they had a guy there by the name that whose radio handle was Johnny Fever. And the remarkable thing with him, he, the, his whole claim to fame seemed to be the drunker he got, the faster his reactions got. Okay, the more coordinated he got. Okay, I have the same problem when I get mad, but I do my best not to get mad because I don't like the idea. I don't like the feel of it, personally. But, the reality of it, from my standpoint, is this. You've got to be the one that decides, are you successful? Easiest way to tell that, from my standpoint, is if you're sitting in your room, anywhere in your house, and you're looking at it going, I'm not happy with the way that feels, or I'm not happy with that where it is. If there's anything in your life that you're not happy with, in my opinion, it's a hiccup in your being successful. Okay, so take that item, whatever it is, change it. Now, you may not have the energy to do everything at once. Okay, for instance, maybe you've let the dishes dig in, build up, and it's a massive job. Okay, and maybe you're the only one that can do anything with them. Don't worry about doing them all at once. Work on them a little bit at a time. Okay, it's the same as if you're doing, if you're trying to mop a floor, trying to clean a floor, and it's been left for a long time. You may not be able to do it all in one shot, but break it down into smaller tasks and do it one section at a time. Because one section at a time, once you've got it clean, of course, the trick is, Keep it that way. But that's a simple case of putting things away as you get done. You know, it's like I like I've had to tell a lot of people. The easiest way to drop your to drop your um your power bill is turn off excess lights. Now, in all fairness with that idea, I should probably have this one above me turned off. But throughout the house, I'll go through I've got a son and like most of you that have kids. You know, they walk along, they turn the light on, they go into the room, do what they will, come out, leave the light on. Okay. Now, for me, I go by a light and I'll just turn it off. Okay. But you take a look at where the energy is. And you really go, okay, I'm if I'm not content with everything I'm looking at, okay, there's a hiccup in your success level formula. From everything I've seen. Okay, because clutter does slow down the energy flow. Now, if you've looked in the, into Feng Shui, which is an Eastern philosophy of energy manipulation, okay, the principle works beautifully. Okay, it doesn't work quite the same way. In Eastern philosophy, all the writing that I've seen on it, Feng Shui talks, and the books on it all say you put this and put your finances in one corner or another, in a northeast corner or something to this effect. In Western society, and that works well in Eastern, because in Eastern society, the entire culture is built around it. In Western society, not so much. But the principle holds, which is why I've got all my work that I, all the work I do on my finances and on my writing is done primarily here. Okay. Then I've got my my family style. I've got family photos, my family section, where I've got family pictures up on the wall in my hallway. Okay. Obviously, it's real easy to keep the kitchen stuff organized, put the food in the same place that way you don't look go looking for it. But it boils down to pick an area where your finances are, where the where the main parts of your life are, get them organized.
in an office, the more in arm's reach you can get, okay, the more in arm's reach you can get, the easier it flows. But I will tell you, there's a drawback. If you're having, if you're in the process as well of striving to drop weight or striving to build your energy level, okay, having everything completely within arm's reach doesn't work as well. You know, something I noticed when I was growing up, we had a remote control, or more to the point, my dad had a remote control for the TV, right? And that remote control was he'd look at one of us kids and go, you know, if he'd had a hard day at work, he's sitting down having his coffee. And you'll notice with my father, it was have his coffee. He did not sit down and drink beer. He did drink beer. Um, but honestly, that was only when he was out with his friends. He never, ever, well, should say never, ever. He drank, you know, socially, as in he'd have a, he'd have a Grand Buey, and, you know, on, on New Year's Eve. But his idea of remote control, if he was tired or was sore, he'd ask one of us to get up and go over and turn the dial on the TV. That was his remote control. We never got a remote control until we were a lot older. Now they make TVs that you can't move, that you can't change without remote control. And here's the problem. It takes away your necessity of getting up and moving. And that's a problem if you're aiming at striving to drop weight. Because here's the thing. When you're moving, you will, you will drop weight. I do not like when I get hit with vertigo. It's always a pain in the neck. So I will have to deal with that. But... But nowadays, people have so much technology available to them that it becomes a bit of a problem. Okay, there is no functional reason to get up and move. Okay, now with that in mind, pick a goal and make certain that you're going one step at a time. Anything that does not feel like it's helping you is hindering you. Okay, so you redirect the energy. So you get the negative stuff, any of the stuff that isn't flowing properly, alter where it's laying out. That way, the energy runs more smoothly. You'll find you're more energetic. You've got more of a get up and go. Okay, very necessary to get yourself in order. Now, I got a whole pile of things happening today. So I will leave you with it. And I will certainly be back tomorrow. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel. And I will catch up with you tomorrow. Okay, until then, take care of yourselves and each other. And for pity's sakes, stay positive.